This week, not one but two miracles from the genius, Rich Ferguson. This episode of Scam School brought to you by Jack Threads. Warning, you will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy than Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and this week we are back again with Rich Ferguson, who blows our minds with not just one, but two completely badass effects you can do anytime, anywhere with everyday items you'll find at the bar. Get ready to win some free beers and be blown away. I'm going to the bar. And this week, we are back again with Rich Ferguson, the icebreaker, author of the number one magic book on Amazon, How to Pick Up Chicks with Tricks. Is that what it tricks is? Tricks to Pick Up Chicks, baby. Tricks to Pick Up Chicks. That's what Without it is. Without the baby. There's tricks and yeah. chicks. Have a baby by giving <laughs> tricks to chicks, no, is no, what you're no, saying. No. <laughs> How right. to Raise Children is your book. <laughs> also joined by Lauren and Noah right here at Revision 3. So great to see you guys. All right, here's the thing. You guys weren't around but we were talking about all the stuff that he put in the book and I wanted to feature some of his favorites and you had not one but two of them that you were gonna show us, is that right? That's right. All right, rock our worlds and well, go. You know, sleight of hand artists, you know, all this crazy skill and these gimmicks and these things, right? You're gonna walk into a bar, you're gonna learn a trick. You walk in, there should be nothing laying around, right? You should be able to do a trick with that or this or this or oh, this, right? So we're gonna try an experiment. Just for your safety, I'm gonna pop off the industry. <laughs> because, you know, you can't be trusted with sharp I you, instruments. I asked you earlier what your pain, your pain tolerance was. You said it was pretty low, so I thought I better do the, the simple version of this. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to take this half of the toothpick and put, hit it between your fingers like this. Perfect. Yeah, that's good. Maybe a little bit more toward the ends, just so you have more control. Yeah, there you go. Just like that. Perfect. You feel that right? Turn your hand down a little bit like this. Feel that right? <laughs> here, we're here, 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 here. Do it again. Here, we'll do it again. I'm going to do it first myself so you can see what it looks like. Here, you hold it. This is the part that's like seriously not even fair. <laughs> right? Oh, this one totally pisses me Magic off. Magic with nothing. <laughs> it took it. All right, so here's the thing. We are not only going to learn how to do it, but you two are going to perform this yourself. But you know what we got to do first? We got to thank our sponsors. What's going on, guys? Brian Brushwood, deep inside my underground bunker and future home of the upcoming show, Behind the Scam. And I have just been handed one of these. That's right. It's a special Special report, this just in. According to these pieces of paper, it says here, yes, only jackasses and complete suckers pay full price. I know what you guys are thinking. You guys have your favorite brands of clothing. You like your uh, kid robot, your Hurley, your Stussy, but you hate wasting all your cash on it. Listen up, you can get 80% off of these brands if you hook up with the fine folks over at Jack Threads. They serve up street skate and surfwear brands that'll make you look awesome and prices that'll melt your brain right out your nose and everyone will think that you have snots. And they're like, oh, you got a little something there. You're like, don't worry about it. It's just my brain. It happens from time to time. Look, here's the thing. These guys are so freaking tight. There's actually a wait list to join, but the folks here at Scam School got the inside hookup. 80% off of these brands? Are you kidding me? Head on over to jackthreads.com scam. You will get instant access to the killer hookups. Head on over there right now. Now remember, not only are you getting the hookups, but you're making us look good to our advertisements. Jack Threads. All right, Rich, spell it, bro. How do you do this pocket miracle? I don't know how it works, <laughs> but I will tell you this, it's fun to do, and this is what happens. You take a toothpick. All right, everybody take a toothpick. We're all going to play along here. Right. You break off the tip because it will hurt if you don't. All right. And you'll see why. Now, do you want to break it off just at the tip? Or do you just want... at the end of the tip. Kind of just to tell us. And by the way, I have also seen this one with uh, match heads as match well. Matches work really well because by, by default, if you lick one finger, yep. the match head will stick to the match head. It glues oh, itself. Oh, am I hearing a bit of how the method works? <laughs> a little bit. Yes. Okay, all right. But I like toothpicks because they're everywhere. But you want to break it pretty much right in the middle, yes, right? Yes, you want to break it in the center. 
you have two halves that are roughly the same. Okay, and so show us the secret move that the makes all this possible. Is, is get one in a little flat so it doesn't hurt you. Okay. And then you're going to lick that end. You lick the end of the, uh, there one you go. One end that's the flattest. Okay. Both of them? Just one. And that is going to be the part that goes against your middle finger, and the part you didn't lick goes against your thumb. Okay. So, so you want the part that you didn't lick to go on your thumb. Right, and the part you did lick against your first finger or middle finger. Okay, all right, so, and then, and then what? And then squeeze real hard. Squeeze really hard. Really hard. I'm squeezing really hard. Are you squeezing really hard? In the hard? meantime, squeeze really hard. Try to use your other fingers to get the other half a paper, half a toothpick between your other hands. All right, I got mine. All right, got That's it. That's it. And or then what? have someone else hold it, either way. And at that point, your right hand should be ready to do this. You should be able to lift yeah. it off, and it should be sticking to just one side. Yeah! Just, there you go. Perfect. That's it, baby. All right. Now, here's the secret. When you're going through, you open up, and you close. You go in, and you close. That's it. However, you don't do that. So You open so, it this much. So what you're saying is I don't go one, two, it's okay. no. it's three. A tiny bit. It's a quarter of an inch, if anything. And you're going to shove this one right through that hole. So you're aiming through the opening, which is a very small opening. That's it right here. So watch very slowly, and this is the other tip. Watch the position of the hands. One has to be sideways, one has to be up, right? You don't want this. You don't want them to see Here, show, this. show it in slow motion what it would look like with that. Now that's this one sideways, turn it. There you go, that's the angle. Now go in. <laughs> yes! yes! Well done! That almost fooled me. That was awesome. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, that's good. You did the magic blue. The blue. Hey, there you go. Oh. Like that. What? 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 Wrong angle. Wrong angle. That's weird. That's weird. Yeah! That's weird. Yeah! That doesn't make any sense. Dude, how much fun is that, man? And what's great, now here's the thing that I like about this one. The way I do it, because it's something that when you draw all the attention to it, it's so much under fire that you might get somebody who's eagle-eyed and spots how it's done. The way I always do this is when I'm hanging out, and I swear this happened just two days ago, we were having dinner, we were talking, and just casually as I was talking to them, I wasn't even looking. I was actually just doing this over and over again. And finally, the guy in the middle of the conversation was just like, what the hell are you doing? Because I cannot figure this out, and it's pissing me off. That's what I love about this thing. All right, that was a good one. Uh, let's see, what else you got? I got some more stuff that involved very little. You give me that look. You give me that look already. I'm just saying. All right, we're going to try something unique. And here, I already have a card with a little cut in it. And I'm going to bet something. This is going to be unique. Is that the only cut? Let me inspect this it. This is the only cut right now. Inspect There's going to be more. That is one cut. That's just a cut. It's that not a big one. deal. It's a hole. It is. A, it is. It's It's a pretty big so hole. So here's the bet. I'm going to cut this. Obviously, right now, it's cut I guess, a quarter to it. I put my finger through it, right? Do you believe I can cut this? No tape, no glues, nothing like that. Just put cuts in this and have it open up big enough for me to stick my head through it. Not only that, maybe even have you completely crawl through the entire card. <laughs> no. See, I like, I like, the, I like no the, the first one. You can see on their faces, they're like, well, I don't know, maybe. And then they're like, what do you think? They're like, your you body can bet? fit through. Yeah. I'll, bet you, I'll bet you a drink. All right. All right. I'll wait for a drink. Sounds good, baby. Here we go. Let's try it. This is going to take a little bit to prep, but I'm just going to show you what I'm doing. Very simple. I'm just going to put some cuts in the So we're going to be able uh, to walk out of the card. This is big enough for the... This will open up wide enough for you to get through. Your physical body. And yes. then a unicorn will fly I'm out and shoot body. rainbows from its butt. I know I'm small, but... It will be amazing. Here we go. Here we go. Watch. It's worth a drink. All right. So you can talk amongst yourself or watch in no suspense way. as I nearly this cut is... the card again. And again. Not impressive. And as a matter I'm of fact, sorry. I just <laughs> realized impressive. I did it wrong because I cut the ends through. Now I can't open it to my I head. Uh, no, 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 I'm joking. Oh, <laughs> I, was like, I was like, well, do a redo. I mean, we want it to work. No, but if you look at it, it sure seems that way. Uh, yeah, you look totally so I'm not bro. quite sure what I'm going to do, but I'm going to try. Here's what I'll do. I'm just going to cut it in half and we're just going to start again. And, uh, oh wait, I have a great idea. Let's just open it up. Oh, oh snap! Oh, snap it! oh, wait a second! Put your arm through! Put it up! Oh, oh, put your arm through! Don't you break it! Oh, shoot! This is where it gets awkward. Oh, wait, wait. There you oh, go. Just oh, let, oh, let her wear it. 
Let him wear it. You can wear it. You can just wear it. Dude, that was freaking awesome. Uh, Rich Ferguson. That's right. I owe you $10 billion because you are a freaking wizard right, and a genius, dream. and I give a high five and a toast at the same time. There we go. Well done. All right, Rich, for everyone who didn't catch it when you performed it, what are the cuts that you need in order to pull this one off? Yeah, this is self-working. There's no tape. There's no gimmick. There's not a second card. Because when you pull it apart real quick, it looks like there might be two cards involved. So right. It really is one card folded in half. You can actually do this with a business card, which is surprisingly the same exact distance and length of the playing card, which is kind of cool. We fold it in half. Right. And then you're going to take a pair of scissors, and you're going to cut. From the seam out. From the seam. We'll, we'll say on the paint. Yeah, exactly. Cut all the way to the paint and there leave that last eighth of an inch. Gotcha. And then the first one's kind of short, and then every one after that is, let's say, an eighth of an inch, three sixteenths of an inch. There you go. And the distance is not its not crucial. You can do them tighter and make this thing expand huge. If you are But precise. you have a risk of breaking. I'm doing it really, really fast. Well, and that's the important thing, is when you're at the bar, people only have a certain attention span, so it's important that you move fast enough that you keep people engaged. So now this is the important part. So I've cut one way, turn it around, and you're going to cut me in the middle going the opposite way except for the first the ends the leave end. the ends the way they are of course right and then you go up the middle and also don't cut all the way through obviously i guess right. the very last cut you need to do is not cut the whole thing in half right but cut out all of it except for the very top part and the very bottom part the ends yes exactly and i'll make this really really fast so you can open it up it does make the cutting quicker so when you open it up and present it it actually is kind of a neat look because because it, so no it, it makes no sense. sense. It makes no sense. It's just a mess, and it, it looks like there's a mistake. And I even joke, oh, I cut the edges. And you fooled Shoot. me when you said that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait for it. All right, so you open it up, and you have yourself a mess. Absolutely. And at this point, you're going to cut everything, but not You're going to weave end. that down. Right dead center. Dead center. All the way. But do not hit the end. There you go. There it is. Leave the ends. And it all accordions way on open. Out. Boom. That's it. Sweet. And like I said, if you cut this really thin, you can go twice as big. But then cool. everyone is bored. Well, you could do this as a bar bet. It's a great bar bet. It is, absolutely, it. of course. Yeah. No, that's great. And it's a rockin' necklace. Well done, <laughs> Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. Thanks. <laughs> Now, first and foremost, we gotta thank Rich Ferguson for hooking us up with these gems. Make sure to check out his book, Tricks to Pick Up Chicks, available on Amazon. Check out his website as well. Now, remember, the key to pulling this off is subtlety. You don't wanna set up the matchstick penetration as a challenge effect, because if you have enough eyes from enough angles, you can get busted on it. But if you just take your time and do it on the side and not draw attention to it, somebody is gonna be blown the freak away. Now, I wanna hear about your success stories and failure stories, so hook us up at the forums at scamschool.tv where you can see all of our episodes right back to episode one. If you're doing the Twitter thing, you can follow me personally at twitter.com slash wood or the show at twitter.com slash scamschool. And don't forget to check out my brand new Facebook page at facebook.com slash wood. If you wanna suggest your favorite bar scam, write me directly at brian at revision3.com. And next week, make sure to tune in because I'm gonna teach you a trick that I learned since Oh, before you were born. This week, not one but two miracles from the genius Rich Ferguson. Read between the lines.